Uh, good morning, Chairman Brown and members of the Banking and Housing and Urban Affairs Committee. I'm honored to provide testimony to the committee on the critical need for a comprehensive approach and the understanding of housing and transportation infrastructure and how they are a backbone for all of our communities. And I would ask the committee to submit my testimony in full for the record. And I'm privileged to serve as the mayor of Akron, Ohio and represent roughly 200,000 people. We are the home of Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Gojo Industries, and I would venture a guess is if I looked around all of your desks, I would see bottles of Purell. They're made right here in Akron and in Ohio. So thank you for the support. The University of Akron and so many other essential industries. Our people are the resilient but burdened workers of the industrial heartland. We are a legacy city and we are in need of critical need of infrastructure investment. And as a mayor, I deal with the daily reality of how the federal government impacts local citizens and the economic impact Congress has on Americans. Over the past few decades, Akron has experienced economic downturns with major companies on the verge of leaving, a pandemic that has shut down our local businesses and critical housing issues exacerbated by the Great Recession over a decade ago that we are still addressing. Communities of color have been the hardest hit by these crises and racial and wealth income disparities are vicious and persistent in the city of Akron as they are across the country. Housing is a basic human need. And this is something I believe we can all agree on. In fact, by creating HUD, a cabinet level position over 50 years ago, cemented this truism for all of us. But housing is also a unique and complex network of physical and financial structures, regulated and managed by federal, state, and local institutions. Local municipalities have been faced with major problems such as foreclosures, an aging housing stock, out of town landlords, banks not lending, and in insufficient federal housing investments. Housing is critical infrastructure. All other infrastructure, whether it be water meters, roads, electrical lines, broadband fiber, sewers, ultimately connect to houses. Many of the most frequently discussed housing topics covered by the national media are simply not issues in the city of, like Akron. Our challenge is not displacement by the poor, by the wealthy, or middle class people being priced out of the market and having to make long commutes into the city. Our challenge is property values that are often too low to allow capital stacks for new housing construction or home improvement loans that residents of modest means. We need a federal infrastructure framework that is geared towards cities like Akron, legacy cities like Akron. And we need programs that help leverage private capital for real estate investment and development so we can keep existing residents in their homes, attract new residents to our city, and create markets for retail and other small businesses that can serve and employ our residents. Finally, we cannot ask our citizens to return to work without them first ensuring they have a healthy and stable place to return home. With regard to surface transportation and transit options for workers like housing, our challenges are not necessarily those that you read about in the national media. My constituents are not facing two hour long commutes or intolerable levels of traffic congestion. Our challenge instead is maintaining the legacy of infrastructure that was built for a city that once had 30% more population than it does today, with the limited tax base that is supported by working class residents. Our residents have put real skin in the game, demonstrating their willingness to invest in our infrastructure by voting in favor of a recent local tax increase for roadway improvements. But that doesn't come close to addressing all of the tra transportation investments. It doesn't eliminate the need for a federal transportation program that focuses on maintaining the roads that we already have and providing more assistance for alternatives to driving, such as public transit, bike, and pedestrian improvements. It doesn't help electrify our bus feet, bus fleet, or replace our crumbling transit maintenance facility, or expand the bus rapid transit in the neighborhood cut off from the regional economy. During this pandemic, the United States Congress have asked people to contribute to their local economy by continuing to work, keep paying their mortgages and taxes, and most did just that. Further, as we emerge from the pandemic, we want those who lost employment to come back to work. That requires stable housing and the means to get to and from that job. Finally, housing is a foundation of a healthy community. I, I firmly believe that investing in the housing infrastructure is the absolute best way we can help our children thrive in school, decrease the neighborhood blight and violence, Stronger and more stable housing is the key to Akron's future for our country and our future. And I would argue it's where all infrastructure begins and ends. Thank you for the opportunity to offer these thoughts and I look forward to the conversation today.